Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. We're actually in the new year for the Chinese calendar, and that means it's springtime. And um, we've shifted from the water element of winter into the wood element of spring. And uh, it came really early this year by my calendar, but uh, last year, I think it was probably in February sometime. And uh, but so we're, we're now in the, uh, in the, the element of wood and wood is governed by the, the gallbladder and the liver uh, elements, which, uh, organs. And so I'd like to talk a little bit about that because that's, uh, it's, it's a, a shift because we're going from the gathering, settling, calming aspect of winter into the, into the expansive quality. We're going from yin to yang, and it's a, it's a slow, gradual expansion. So the, uh, uh, before we get into that, the, you know, the, the year of the rabbit is actually the water rabbit. And so the qualities is it's water rabbit is is kind of gentle intuitive considerate um, um, and lucky so it um, the the energy is tends to be maybe a little softer than what we've been experiencing in the last couple of years and uh, it also feeds the water feeds the wood um, so the um, We're getting into this so the expansion you can think of in, in terms of wood, you can think of like uh, uh, the uh, daffodils pushing up through the snow and, and, and coming up, you know, that, that inexorable thrust upward. And the same thing with, with, the, uh, with the liver chi, it's a, it's a gently rising uh, energy. And the, the liver function in the, uh, in the body is that of cleansing the blood and the chi and circulating. It's considered to be the, the general of the organs and it kind of has kind of a stern manner and it kind of directs traffic uh, throughout the whole system. And so the, um, um, It also feeds the heart. The liver chi feeds the heart. So we have this, the organs, the, the five primary organs there are, uh, um, they follow the seasons where you have the kidneys are for winter and then springtime starts with the, with the liver or the gallbladder and uh, then it goes into summer, which is the heart and the uh, goes uh, the late summer is earth and that is summer is fire late summer is earth and that is um, the spleen and it goes into fall which is the lungs and then it circles around and so each season feeds the next one so the water feeds the wood and so that's why we tend to take it down a notch in winter and conserve our resources so that gives us the nourishment to go forward. And that thrust, that, that yang push uh, that comes with liver is what energizes the heart, which then continues the whole, the whole process. So the, uh, uh, the uh, liver function and, uh, and uh, is primary, it has, has a, one of the qualities of the liver function, I guess, is um, like uh, strong emotions. So there's you know, oftentimes associated with anger, but it doesn't have to be a destructive anger. It can be like, you know, what uh, Master Yang would call a, a happy anger. It's where your liver is feeding your heart and uh, the joy of the heart and, and, the, and the intensity of the, of the liver get together and enables you to get things done. It gets you off your butt and makes you ready to do stuff. So it provides impetus. So we want to get the liver so that the liver chi is circulating well. 
because whenever there's a liver stagnation, whenever the liver is, you know, the NG is not circulating properly in the through the liver, then it, everything slows down the whole system. And you'll notice it with uh, a number of systems and a number of symptoms rather. Um, one of them being like, like low back pain, you'll get, uh, sometimes you have like a, a liver stagnation. So getting that energy moving is, uh, is very helpful. Any kind of exercise, preferably starting off gently and then getting progressively more will help with that, uh, with that circulation. And so you wanna, wanna get that going, get the, get the, the liver cleaning the blood, cleaning the chi and circulating everything. Uh, throughout the whole system. So um, uh, what I want to do is do a, a, a liver chi meditation and kind of build on what we were doing last week with the standing meditation. So in other words, we're going to start off doing a standing meditation we'll, and then we'll go into uh, a, uh, a short liver chi meditation, which uh, you know, help to move things along, be appropriate for this time of year. Okay, so why don't we stand up? So we're going to do a standing meditation and very slowly kind of bring our attention to all the different aspects of the, uh, of the three pillars. So we can really establish the energetic connections with the earth and the sky, feel the central equilibrium, unkink the hose and feel the energetic coherence. So feel, begin by feeling the balls of your feet. And allow your body to kind of sink into your feet. Almost feel like your feet are kind of spreading out, but you're using the balls of your feet as your, as your bullseye, that's the point you want to focus on. Let's step a little bit closer. Feel your toes touching the floor. Feel your heels. And, and the weight is spread throughout the foot, but you're feeling it primarily on the inside of the foot, big toe line. With each breath, find yourself sinking a little lower, not by bending your knees, but by relaxing internal tension. Feel your muscles letting go of any extraneous uh, tension, allowing yourself to sink and trust the intrinsic structure of your body your bones, your connective tissue. And just as a side note there, the connective tissue is one of the areas that's addressed with the, with the wood chi, with the liver chi. So we're feeling that. We're feeling the support that comes whenever you relax your muscles. So we're allowing that connective tissue to activate you feel the tensegrity in the connective tissue system. And this is also nourishing the chi, the liver chi. You feel your fingernails, your toenails. Each breath, you find yourself sinking a little bit more, releasing downward. Now reach with the crown of your head. 
and tuck in the chin and open the jade pillow gate. Feel your neck lengthening, even as you sink even more into the, into the floor. Here we're opening the gates to the yin chi of the earth, the yang chi of the heavens. I'm feeling the body as a conduit for the big chi. Relax your lower back, allow your tailbone to drop. Feel your pelvis leveling out as you relax, release the tension in your lower back. And you'll notice that this loads up your legs a little more. Your legs take on the, the job of supporting it, which is actually a good thing. but it's a yin support. That is, you're not pushing away from the earth, you're just releasing down and just feeling yourself supported. Give yourself Spiraling down to the left, loading up that left leg, and then spiraling down to the right, loading up the right leg, releasing the quad, set settling down. We're unkinking the hose in the quad, allowing the energy to move more freely through the hip area. At the same time, feeling the stability this brings to your body. Reach with your elbows, so your arms are slightly rounded. Opening the shoulder joints. Point with your index fingers and feel the energetic coherence throughout the body. Feel everything connecting up. As you inhale, feel your diaphragm pressing down on your internal organs, pressing down on your abdominal cavity, squishing the, your, your belly, your gut. And as you exhale, that releases and feel your your diaphragm rising. So you're attuning to the feeling of the diaphragm, that muscle that creates the airflow, fills your lungs. Inhale for a count of three, and then hold that for a count of three. And then exhale for a count of three. And hold that for a count of three. And continue inhaling for three, Hold for three, exhale for three, hold for three.
Don't strain at it, do it very gently. The count can vary according to what you feel is appropriate for your body. What we're doing is here, we're balancing out the autonomic nervous system. As you inhale, that stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, the yang aspect, the go, go, go part. Exhale stimulates the parasympathetic, the rest and digest part. And the, when you hold, that just you, allows you to bring awareness to either the yin or the yang. And it brings the autonomic nervous system into balance. Neither too yin nor too yang. Neishi is the uh, practice of inner looking. So it's that you're bringing your awareness to the changes inside your body. You start with more gross, obvious observables. But as you attune to it, you become more and more aware of the subtler effects. You start to notice the non-physical stuff as well. You notice the, the chi. And as you get comfortable with that, then you can start to notice the different qualities of chi. And today we want to work with the wood chi, the liver chi, and feel into that expansiveness, that, that tendency to ignite or to, to create motion. The scale is tipped in a young direction. Now, sink and gather, carry the chi. You're lifting, feel the density of the space as you move through it. Feel the weight of your arms. Reach with your elbows, open the shoulder joints. Feel your three pillars, your central equilibrium, energetic coherence. Unkink the hose. Feel the energy circulating smoothly. Reach forward as you, your body moves back slightly. Feel that those poles in that position. Now pull back as your body comes forward. Feel those poles in opposition. Sink very slightly into your right leg, then into your left leg. 
pick up your right foot and step back. And reach forward with your hands back with the body. And then your right hand comes down a little bit. Sink into your left leg and then rotate your forearm and draw your right elbow back, reaching forward with your left hand. And comes down by your side there. And it's like you're massaging your liver and you reach forward. Reach forward with both hands and the right hand drops. Sink into your left leg and then turn, sink into your right leg as you draw your right elbow back. And then turn forward. And reach forward. Your left hand, your right hand comes up and then down. Sink into your right leg, turn. Right hand comes up, palm out. Reach forward. And comes up and then down. Back, reach with the elbow. And forward. Step up with your right leg. Reach forward and then down your hands. Stepping up. And out. Now go the opposite direction, sinking down, pressing down. Whole body sinks. A little bit of the right leg and then to the left leg and then to the right. Step back with your left foot. Reach forward. Feel that reaching, that expansion. You want to feel the tug between, between your shoulder blades. Both hands are connected. They're both part of one system there. They're all connected to the whole body-mind system. And you drop your left hand a little, reach forward and then turn. Um, yeah, turn, come back, reaching back with the elbow, reaching forward with the right hand. Coming forward. Reach, left hand drops, turn. Reach. 
reach forward with both hands. Right hand, left hand comes up and then comes down as you turn. Reach forward with the left hand. Left hand comes up and then down. Sink into the right leg and reach. Step up with your left foot. Reach out and then back and down. Pressing down. Sink. Reverse it, reach out and down, sink. And up. Feel the chi between your hands. <coughs> Feel the field that you're generating. Feel that the, the circle that, that your arms are creating with the chi pressing out against your arms. And press down. And then your hands over your navel. down, step in, take a deep breath, and disappear the chi, dissolve into the emptiness. Please take a seat.
Yeah, Rick. When we dissolve the chi at the end, should we still be remaining on our footballs and have our crown raised? In other words, should everything still be in the uh, big chi uh, uh, stance? I like to do it that way. Because what's happening then is you're becoming a, a neutral conduit for the big chi. So you're dissolving, basically you're dissolving your attachments to your thought forms, to body and everything like that. And you're just allowing what is to just go about its business and uh, unperturbed by any ruminations you might have. And just let that, let, let things happen, let it flow. Well, if, if Kay likes that, then okay likes that too okay <laughs> okay <laughs> how'd that go good 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 any questions problems no all good Okay. <laughs> Scott. Oh, uh, just, uh, it's a different feeling. Um, definitely, I can't really describe it besides, besides balanced, but it's a different feeling from things we've done in weeks past. Good, good. <clears throat> that, that, that's good. Uh, I like that. That's because it, <laughs> it, it was, it was different. So it, uh, you know, uh, you know, getting, you know, when I was talking about, you know, being able to discern qualities of energy, you know, that's where we're getting into here. It's like, you know, oh, okay, this is a different flavor. I still recognize it as chi, but it's a slightly different flavor. And so then you, you know, you go with this more of a, you know, mm, rather than a, mm, you know, and uh, so it's, uh, yeah, it's good to be able to discern these things. Very, very very woody, very woody. Very woody. Okay. Yeah. I was just going to say that. I think maybe I'm feeling woody. Feeling woody. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> that's, that's good wood. <laughs> now you've gone too far. It's the PG rated <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Always one <wanted> joke before. <laughs> okay. Uh, good. All right. Uh, <laughs> anybody else? Okay. Good. All right. So that's uh, so there's, that's your that's your liver chi for for today, folks. Um, we got uh, got a few minutes left, so let's uh, let's move on to uh, to the next topic of. Um, Jonathan had mentioned uh, uh, something we had done in in a class uh, last Saturday, actually here, and uh, where we're exploring uh, Sai Chi, and Sai is one of the eight primary energies of Taiji Chuan, uh, the Ba Men, and um, For my money, it's the most elusive to do it as a as an energy, because it really requires a lot of uh, a lot of everything else. I think it's it's kind of stuck there in the middle, but it's um, a, a, when you when you think about them, because it translates uh, sci, uh, translates into pluck is the is usually the way it's translated. That means it's it's a gentle pull down. It's where it's an abrupt kind of thing, but without using force, which makes it, uh, you know, a little more difficult to, uh, to execute uh, if you're not fully loaded. So right now, having just done our wood meditation, we've got pretty good, pretty good connection going. So it might be a, a chance to do this. It's much easier to, to demonstrate if, 
I got my hands on you and you can actually feel what it feels like. What the what it feels like when someone is 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 touching you and you're using saw is like there's this ah oh, this density pulling you down and it's an abrupt like uh, sense of uh dropping and uh but i guess you could probably use it in different directions but usually they we talk about it it's like you know the there's a a, a drop down and that's a good place to start and the the key is that you're not using localized muscular tension to make that happen. And the mind has a hard time wrapping around that because it just doesn't see that's that's gonna that's gonna happen. And uh, so the error that most people make, myself included, has been to give it a little boost there by adding some uh, uh, some extra muscle to it, some extra Lee and that only gets in the way of the actual um, psi energy. So um, it's, um, I think it says C-A-I is, is the pinion spelling for that. And uh, back in uh, the old spelling was T-S-A-I, I believe. And uh, so what we're going to do is, is explore. So the, um, let me just explain first. So the idea is that you're the, let's say I'm using my hand to, to, to do the pluck. It is, I can't pull down from my shoulder. It's got to be a, there's the, the, the energy has to be full throughout the system as well as the tensegrity. That is, all the points must be connected from the foot to the fingers. And so then once I have that, then there is a, uh, that it's a matter of directing the energy down. And how do we do that? And this is the, this is the challenging part. And up until I understood um, the uh, Joe energy with the elbow, and co with the with the shoulder, I didn't really quite understand how you, how it's even possible to do it. But the the way it works is if I'm plucking down here, what I'm doing is I'm reaching down with the elbow, and the whole body joins in with that, and so you're feeling this the energy just dropping down the elevator shaft, and it's like whoa and there is a, a sense of, it's quite an irresistible force whenever you you execute it correctly because it, it's like um, the, um, it's, it's unexpected. And, um, and the one, the other thing that, that makes it work is to point and reach as you're, prior to executing the move. So you're, you point and reach, you make that connection, which causes the, the, the body's energy to resist that, the, the sense of being, being lifted. So it wants to go down. So you, and at which point you then help with your, with that, that dropping energy. I hope some of this is is coming across clearly here. Uh, like I say, it's the most difficult one to talk about, and the uh, uh, it, it does require some 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 human interaction to make that happen. But Jonathan, you're going to help me out with this. Uh, well, if the question helps, how does it differ from metal energy? Uh, I think uh, it's it is uh, there is a quality of metal in it. But uh, metal energy is a bigger category. This is a specific application, probably of metal energy. But I think that be a, I think that's 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 a, uh, a fairly accurate way. But metal energy can be any direction, so it's not not just a. Uh, and it's, this is also like um, metal energy can go out, and this one is more more in in and down rather than. <laughs> Than, than than out you can go so one could say it could be a subcategory of of metal 
there's metal uh, the metal quality to it but you you felt that uh that energy oh, yeah. to make it, you could tell what that you could describe that well it's a very heavy compelling uh pull down i mean it's just <laughs> you're going down you know it's an inevitable it's 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 sort of like the equivalent almost in a way of your your vines of love going out you know it's just it's a force that sh that's pulling you down that's i don't know the way to put it it's it's not a push you know it's like a suggestion a strong suggestion to one's body that down is the way you want to go you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's nice nicely put okay so uh let's take a look at this because it, it within it is some you know are elements that make all the gins work so if we can get the we can kind of wrap our minds around around psi, then we start to understand everything a little bit uh, more clearly. So why don't you uh, why don't you stand up? Okay, so um, so let's begin with with the hands out like this. So we're it's like a play guitar, lifting hands kind of uh, kind of a uh, deal here. And uh, just forget the the left hand for the moment, and we're just going to focus on the right. So what we want to do is feel the three pillars in this posture. So let's go with the uh, on the heel here. So your your weight is primarily in your left leg, and you're reaching out with your right hand, reaching down with your left. So you want to feel the weight over the ball of the left foot. Reach with the crown of the head. You're pointing and reaching with the index fingers on both hands. And notice when you do that, you're connecting the dots. You're getting that whole body energetic connection. So what that does then is it, you're shifting from a muscle-based uh, action into more of an energy base. So you're moving from Li to Jin. So first thing you want to do is you want to reach forward with your right hand. So there's like, a, your, ah, you're extending outward. So that kind of tightens the, the rope there. It kind of stretches the, the rubber band as you reach out or reach forward. And then you feel your right elbow and you reach down with the right elbow without pulling the hand back. So in other words, you're still reaching forward with the hand, but you're reaching down with the elbow. What the reaching forward with the hand does is it keeps that the tension, that, that tensegrity of the, of the structure. If I the, the hand goes weak and I try to, it goes limp and I try to, to, to reach down with that, then I've lost it. And I think you can get to a, a level where this is no longer, uh, necessary, but at the, at the beginning stages, I believe it is. So you're reaching out, and now as you reach down, you're still reaching out with the right hand, and you're still reaching down with the left hand, and you slowly reach down with the elbow and feel the viscosity of the air, of the space as you're moving through that. So there's that sense of you're pulling down not by your muscular tension, but your, your, there's a, a connection from your fingers all the way through to your feet. As you do that, you're pulling down like that. So we're, there's a, a turn of the body. You're, you're, as you spiral down, you're, you're, you're pulling the, the hand down rather than pushing it down. So you're, Reach down with the elbow, 
and feel feel that you can if you're practicing it you can you can grab a, a, an object you know and you're you're like this and you're you're reaching down and you're feeling that and you're ah you're feeling that that connection and you should be feeling it in your foot you know that 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 connection between your hand and your your foot so it's, it's not empty but it's not localized muscular tension it's a whole body connection that makes this makes this possible so there's a sense of ah oh, you're pulling down rather than uh, and just letting it letting it drop so let's just uh, let's just do a few of that so we're we're here like this and we you're reaching out reach out and then down with the elbow down with the wrist press down and then reach out and point reach extend and then pull down and as you're pulling down it's not just on the shoulder there's that turn of the body as you do that you reach and sink so the energy is going down 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 just like we were doing in the standing meditation there's a sense of ah oh, dropping as you're doing that your your body is sinking deeper into the earth as you're doing that so the the vector of the energy is whoosh and it's kind of like a um uh like you pull the pull the stopper on the bathtub and the water is just, it's sucking everything down the down into the earth as you into into the drain so you're you're doing that you're getting your, the energy is sucking down rather than up and, uh, and out but at the same time if you're not expand if not expanding you're going to lose the tensegrity of the structure and so you're going to get you're not going to have that um that connection as you as you're doing it so that's the uh that's that so uh any questions on this this i probably have uh given you too short a time here to digest this but is it uh does that make uh, make sense at all yeah that's okay right. <laughs> lynn uh for me it like even when you were describing it before we stood up, we were sitting in the chairs. I just like let my chi go boom. You know, I had that big wooden ball of chi sitting there. I let it go boom down, and it just I feel like that's part of attaching the whole thing, right? Getting that downward motion with the chi is connected to the arm. Uh, I I like what what you just demonstrated there. That looks uh, looks exactly right. <laughs> so you practice you know just by by doing it without trying to create a big effect you're just trying to to discover what the chi is doing and then <clears throat> and then you build on that because there is such a tendency if you try to create a big effect to to get all muscular about it and you don't want to go there so you, you start nice and easy and it, i i find this the most elusive of all the uh, uh of the eight uh primary energies but uh yeah. So uh Scott, you had your hand up. Uh my wife was first. Oh. Um I really liked um using the description of the bathtub water. That turned a little key for me. Uh, and I was able to experience it a little not a little bit, but a lot more full. Uh that just it I don't know why that worked, good. but that did. Good, good, good. Scott. Um, so is this just, it seems like the same energy as how you kind of teach the beginning of push. Like yeah. when, when you, right, when you're out, you got your arms out and then you sink down and then forward. The way you're, you've been there, 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 there's, there are similarities there. Yes. Yes. Okay. So the on chin has that quality of down and then out. So right. this is more, more straight down. So it, uh, it's like, uh, but yes. So very much so. Richard. Um, is there a sense of, 
of falling in. It's so I, I have the sense of like falling into the vortex. Um, you or the person you're you're touching. Well, the I'm not you're touching should have that feeling. Uh, and, okay. And, and I guess that that sense of dropping, uh, you know, is uh, more like hollowed out in, in in the center, and 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 that going down, like you're right. you're the drain, and and the water is coming down through you. Right. Yeah. Thing. It and, was it, it was it was similar to the drain metaphor. It was the falling into the vortex. Good. Good. So the uh, what? So we have two things going on there. That that is countered by the structure that's created by the reaching, right? The tensegrity of the structure then allows you to uh, to have some, to, uh, to direct the energy. So not everything's falling, but you're creating a, a structure and then something is falling through that structure. So that, uh, but uh, yes, that, there is that, that quality there. And it, it, you know, if you get that, that sense of dropping, what we're doing, you know, when we started off the uh, the three pillars meditation at the start, there, there's this, that sense of fall, you know, of dropping down. And what we're doing is we're concentrating that sense of ah, that sung, and we're concentrating it and directing it, and that is what gives it its power. Make sense? Good, 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 good. Okay, Jonathan, you have something? Oh, I'm good. Good. Okay. Oh. Cool. Great. Thank you all so much. Thank, Thank you, Maria. You. <laughs> Thank Love you, Maria.